Welcome custom card fans, my name is Aurora and I'm here to present EXU's Card of the Week. This week's Card of the Week is a spell card of Beaker of Foresight, as created by Ocean Phantom. Beaker of Foresight is a quick play spell that functions as an enabler for excavation and mill focused decks. On activation, you choose two cards from your deck and place them on top in any order. Then, while it's in your graveyard, if the top card of your deck is either added to your hand or sent to your graveyard, you can banish it from your graveyard to activate a Dark World Dealings-esque effect. What this card lacks in direct power, it makes up for in its combination with decks that rely on milling. A deck that this is particularly strong in is Dome Dread's Endless Sands, which uses the card to guarantee hits on its usually luck-based hourglass traps, and can often seal the game away with a few lucky mills. Another deck that has been able to utilize this card in the past was Ocean's Own Remnant, which used the card to guarantee hits on some of its most important extension effects in Remnant Escort and Lost Remnant, as well as Disruption in Remnant Investigator, though as of writing the archetype has been pulled for reworking. Beaker of Foresight is a strong consistency card that can be considered for play in almost any deck. Due to being a quick play spell, it has versatility in rigging the top card of your deck during your opponent's M phase, essentially allowing you to search for any one card in your deck. While this might be a little slow for combo decks, control decks would certainly like to be able to take advantage of more consistency, as would stun decks like to be able to make their usually unsearchable floodgates about as searchable as they will ever get. In decks where it can truly shine with its second effect, however, is where Beaker of Foresight really makes the cut to be card of the week. The consistency and strength that it provides to mill decks is pretty much unparalleled, especially on a card that can be used proactively on both players' turns without much fuss, unlike trap cards. With Tear Lament soonly approaching the format, or maybe even a part of the format by the time this video releases, I'm sure being able to stack any two cards from your deck to gain massive advantage off the effect of a card like Shaylin or Meru is going to put Beaker of Foresight at the forefront of the archetype. That's it for this week's Card of the Week. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, tell us what you thought down in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more content. Remember to turn on the notification bell as well, so you won't miss a single upload. There is a link down in the description to join our Discord server, where you too can explore the vast array of cards we have to offer, play competitively or casually, and chat with other custom card creators around the world. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.